Hey guys, Silent King here, and if my voice sounds echoey or anything, or if I just don't sound normal, I'm doing this commentary in the bathroom because my whole house is occupied right now with people. And there's people in the basement, there's people upstairs, there's people in the living room, so I'm doing this commentary in the bathroom so I don't disturb anybody, and so there's no other background noise besides the echo in my voice. So what you guys are watching is a gameplay of Modern Warfare 3 from the first or second week the game came out. It looks like my thing jumped right there, I don't know why. Looks like another PVR mishap. This game's, this seems to be happening a lot lately. And I, I don't think it happened on my last gameplay, but in this gameplay it did. So I apologize for these PVR mishaps, and I might get a new uh, capture card when uh, Christmas comes. And yeah, look at that, you missed 7 kills by me, but whatever. So guys, the continuation of the series, obviously. God, this PVR sucks. But the continuation of the sh the continuation of the series is as follows, obviously. Oh, I got a Reaper. It's the college application process series. This is part four. So far, I've done two parts. Pre-planning, uh, three parts. Pre-planning, visiting, and research. And right now, we are going to move on to one of the biggest parts of the college application process. And this is the application itself. And right now, if you're gonna, if you're up to this part, this is the common application process. This is not the individual essay process. That's a totally different uh, segment. This is you filling out the common application. If you don't know what the common application is, it's um, well, I don't know what to tell you. You should know what the common app is. But the common app is basically this application online, the commonapp.org, or work commonapp.com. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I've started it, but I don't remember exactly if it's commonapp.com or commonapp.org. So, what it is, is it's a bunch of institutions, I think about 400 institutions participate in the Common App. And instead of applying directly to the, uh, directly to that institution via their online uh, application, such as UNC Chapel Hill or the University of Kentucky, they are going to be on the Common App. And what that means is you fill out one application, and that one application will cover all the schools you apply to that are a part of the Common App. Not every school is a part of the Common App, however, but most major schools are going to be on the Common App. Some exceptions to the rule are James Madison University in Virginia, the University of Florida, the University of Maryland, and George Mason. It's four schools that I plan to apply to, or have applied to, that were not on the Common App. It just giving you guys some insight if you're thinking about applying to those schools as well. You're going to have to do that through the individual application process, which I will cover in the next video, because that's a totally different process from the Common App process. So again, in a nutshell, the Common App is just one application for a cup for as many institutions as you want, but obviously you still have to do the payments. It's not one application fee for the Common App. You still have to pay for each individual application. And applications, like I said, range in price. The most expensive application I've seen is $80 for the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And the cheapest one I've seen is the University of Florida for $30. And by cheapest, I do not mean cheapest overall. I mean the cheapest one I've applied to. The cheapest fee is $30 that I've seen so far. But obviously, there are free applications out there, such as Marquette University and such as, the, uh, as Butler University. One of which is in Vienna, and one of which is in Wisconsin. So again, it's going to be pricey if you're applying to more than a couple schools. I think I'm going to wind up spending close to... I don't know exactly how much money I'm going to spend. I'm going to be spending a lot of money on this common app process, and it's pretty crazy how much money I'm going to be spending. But it's worth it if I get into a school. And just to give you a heads up, I was $40.00. Ohio State's 50 bucks, UNC's 80, UVA 70, Kentucky's 40. So again, it varies, but you're gonna be anywhere in the range of 30 to 80 dollars, I would say, per application. And back into the Common App. In the Common App, you're gonna fill out about, I think it's 10 sections worth. You have to fill in your educational background, your economic background, just pretty much everything, your family background, everything. Just you know, the, the common information you're gonna see on a normal application. This is just gonna. This is information that you would be applying to a col that you would be giving to a college anyway, if you were doing the individual applications. But instead of doing it on every single application, you're doing it in one spot, and it gets sent to all the universities for you. 
Conveniency, yes. So besides that, you could, and you're also going to have to do one essay for the Common App. I, there's another section called Supplements, which I'll get to in a minute. Or tomorrow on the application part, because this is also an essay part of the Common App. But the Common App essay is one question. You only have to do one question. I forgot how long it was. I think it was between 250 and 500 words in that range. And it's just a question that you have to answer, but you want to answer this as thoroughly as possible in your word limit. You want to answer it to the best of your ability, obviously. This essay is going to be sent to every institution, along with the supplement section of the Common App, which I'll cover in a few seconds. So, you only have one essay via the Common App. You might think you're getting lucky only submitting one essay to all these institutions. As I said, that's wrong. In the next section, you have the supplement section. The supplement section is additional information sent to colleges and universities that you're applying to. This covers in-state tuition, this will cover pretty much anything that is not covered in the Common App section, and provide you with money or scholarships opportunities. Also in the supplement section are the college essays that the colleges make you write. Now not every college makes you write an additional essay if you've already submitted a Common App essay. The university Ohio State University is one of those schools. I did not have to write an essay for Ohio State because I've already written an essay for the Common App itself. But UNC, on the other hand, I had to write an essay for, even though I've already done the Common App. It's just something to think about. So, just because you think you've written one essay does not mean that's going to be your only essay you write. You do have a pos you do that you do have the possibility of writing more than one essay for the Common App. And it's more than likely you will if you're applying to some major schools. Major schools would like to see your Common App essay along with the essay that they recommend you write for their institution. And last but not least on the Common App is the school forum section of the Common App. This is one letter of recommendation from your guidance counselor, which is obviously your, and also your school forms, which is your transcript, classes you're taking, everything like that submitted by your guidance counselor. And you also need one teacher recommendation. You put down whichever teacher you want, and they're either going to be an online provider, which means they write your letter of online, or an offline provider, where you write, where you print out a sheet of paper, they fill it out, and they eat, and they send it to the college via the mail. So guys, I hope I com cover the Common App in enough detail. It's not that complicated of a process. If you have more questions about the Common App, please leave it in the description below. And tomorrow we're going to cover individual college applications because they're a different animal than the Common App. Guys, I'm Silent King, signing out. Peace.